Hello everybody and thank you very much for an opportunity to come your way again and this is the Conrado Show where we talk about issues of purpose, passion and power. We believe so much that everybody has a purpose on this earth. You didn't just evolve or just drop down from the skies or somewhere but you were created by God and he gave you a purpose to come and live out on this earth. And when you come on earth, you're supposed to live your life so passionately. Whatever you are doing, do it passionately. And then also do it with the power that God enables you with. And so that is what we talk about on this show. And today I am so privileged to speak with my spiritual father. For 20 years now, he has been somebody who has held me and mentored me and guided me, trained me, groomed me in matters of spirituality and in family and in, in business and career and helped me in different ways to be empowered to be what I am today. And so I owe it a great, 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 great privilege to speak with him today on my show. I'm so, so privileged to have my father, but I'll introduce him pretty shortly. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back after this break. It feels like becoming an entrepreneur aside academics is never going to be possible when you're in school. Mainly because we feel that we are young and we don't have the resources and the guts to be one. But if you believe in yourself and you have the passion to become an entrepreneur, then you already are. Staying ahead in a highly competitive environment requires applying creativity and innovation to every aspect of your journey to becoming an entrepreneur. Presently, entrepreneurship is driven by creativity and innovation to attain business objectives. The explosion in technology, business, entrepreneurship and consumption in this new era is as a result of the ongoing application of innovation. Milton Bell once said, if opportunity doesn't knock, view the door. So, if you are ready to be an entrepreneur, Heritage Christian College is ready for you. Heritage Christian College moves you from a wantrepreneur to become an entrepreneur. Are you interested in building yourself in the media sector? Do you want to be a journalist, a videographer, a photographer, or any media personnel? Then Heritage Media Center is the right place to be. Ashon Mankelina is my name, a student of the Heritage Media Center. Heritage Media Center is just not centered on theory, but mostly about practicals. I am a student studying both journalism and multimedia. Someone would ask, can I study both journalism and multimedia? Yes, you can. And it also comes with a discount. Studying at Heritage Media Center gives you the opportunity to have access to all learning materials. Here at Heritage Media Center, we have the best lectures. Their main aim is to make sure we get the best of understanding. Come to Heritage Media Center and have that quality education. Thank you very much for joining us again. This show is brought to you in association with the Conrado Group. We are interested in personal development and then also if you are interested in traveling abroad and you want to write the IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, if you are a nurse or you want to study abroad, this is the exam that you need to write. And we are the masters of this particular game. We can teach you to excel in this particular course. And so reach out to us. Uh, you can reach us on 02067 
303082. This show is also brought to you in association with Heritage Christian University College. We are a university in Amasamanakra and we are the pacers when it comes to some kind of distinctive entrepreneurial education. We want all our students to be entrepreneurial, to have some business ideas and be able to uh, be groomed and to train themselves so that when they come out of school they don't join the unemployed graduates association so we have startup capital up to 100,000 CDs for a team that wins our startup challenge to be able to go through their business page and business idea training and then for them to start their own businesses and you can also be a beneficiary of that our students are enjoying this and you too can be a part of it you can get to uh, our website www.hcuc.edu.gh and then you can apply for any of the courses that we run in the business administration areas in uh, also IT and nursing and theology as well. We also have master's degree programs in accounting with taxation, accounting and finance, and then also human resource management. We have short courses as well. We have media school, and you can come here for training in journalism or multimedia. It's just short courses to get practical training in these areas. You can reach us on 020-67-3038-2. All right, and so today, as I said, I'm speaking with my spiritual father from the university when I enrolled at the University of Ghana in 2004. I had just been baptized and I just decided that, you know, this is the place that I want to worship with, the Legon Church of Christ. And the minister there was somebody that was so, 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 so helpful to me in my growth because I'd, I was just a newborn baby and he led me through all the trainings and gave me the idea to know what exactly Christianity looked like. And he is the one that I'm interviewing today. He is in the person of the evangelist, George Kinsley Abuga. <laughs> And my father, thank you very much for thank coming. You, thank you. I'm too. so happy. Thank you. And it's 20 years yes. that you adopted me. 20, <laughs> into short, the, 20 short years. It's not short, though. <laughs> I'm so happy. So thank you. Uh, I'm 39 years now, and so which means that I came you, there when you were 19. 19 years. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes. And uh, I uh, 20 years is not long at all. It's not long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like yesterday. Yes. But hey, anyway, welcome. Thank you. I'm very glad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and uh, so I'm Daddy, let's. Grateful. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So let let's start. Um, the let's start with your family background. Uh, where did you grow up? Where do you come from? And how did you grow up? Um, I was born. Yes. In 1954. 1954. Before Ghana got independence. Before. I could walk. Yeah. I'd lost my father. Oh, what so do I you don't mean? I not know my father at all. Really? I grew up and when I asked, they only described him to me. Wow. But my uncle took care of you. Care of us. I see. How many of you were two? Oh, okay. For your father. My brother, my senior brother and I. Wow. And my senior brother, that's the, the children's Chrissy and the Sammy. Sammy? Oh, interesting. I know them. <laughs> so I grew up in the village. Right. The village is called Cairo in the Upper East. Cairo region. in the Upper East region. Yes. Wow. It's wow. a village. I see. Yes. I see. And uh, our life was all communal. Wow. The system was, there is a family head. Uh-huh. And he's the head of everything, including Whoa. the human beings. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So it was a leader of yes. the family. Yes. Yeah. I see. Hmm. And that is the system. Wow. In, in, I mean, in that community. I see. Yeah. Give us any details. What do you mean by communal living? Everything belongs to, or everything is managed by the family head. Okay. Even if I had cows, or I have sheep, I have whatever. Yeah. It was managed by the family head. I see. When we farm, when yeah. they farm, yeah. they put it in a, a common band. Uh huh. A common band. Yeah, you yeah. know when Jesus said uh -huh. they put them back. Yeah, exactly. yeah. They have a common band. Wow. All farm produce we will put in that. It's a big one. Wow. 
I mean, periodically, we go, they will share the thing among the women. I see. According to the children. Wow. So if a child, if a woman had one child, they'll give him only one calabash. I see. If you have two, they'll give him ah, maybe one and a half or two. That's how they allocated. Yes, that's wow. Exactly, that's how we lived. Wow. I see. And uh, my anybody who had whether animals or not yeah. it doesn't belong to you even though we know it is for you for you but, but it is managed by the family uh, family head so everything was common interesting, interesting common to everybody wow and nobody would nobody will lack nobody needs anything i if see you are, if you need something you get it from yes the, 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 mm. the, the family head will just use it wow it doesn't matter whether it is mine or yours i see once you belong to the family wow those things are not for you they are for the whole family i see and do those things still exist when you go it back is, home? It is, it is, it is uh, dry. In fact, it is fading really out gradually. Oh, because, because of because modernity. Of modernity. <laughs> Everybody for himself. Yes. <laughs> but I, I still don't like that. Yeah. System. I still want the old system. Old system. Wow. And so even in my house in Accra here, you like try that. to do that. It's like that. No, that I try. It's <laughs> like that. I see. Men can never tell me that this, this belongs to him. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I see. Mm -hmm. So now, from there, um, how did you come to the city? You see, my small uncle yeah. was the headmaster of the Cairo Primary School. Okay. And when I was a little child at yeah. four, mm -hmm. you know, in the north, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. People were not going to school. They were oh, shepherds. Yeah, so you were just so, shepherding yes. sheep and cows. So it was cows. only a few mm -hmm. people who had the privilege to go to school. Wow. But because I was small, uh -huh. I was I can't follow in either the cows or sheep. Oh. So in the morning, I only follow my other siblings yeah. who were in school yeah. to school. I see. Because I can't be I can't be in the house alone. <laughs> so I, I follow them to school. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. my uncle. Who is the headmaster? Mm. He saw the interest in me. Wow! He saw how I wanted uh, I have to learn. In mm. So one of the teachers says, mm -hmm. "Why don't you allow him class one?" Wow! So that's how I got to class one. Interesting. Mm. And at, at age four. At age four. Yeah. Okay. And um, so the city coming down to the city. Uh, where did uh, you? Yeah. How did you? I I I had the primary school in yeah. the village. Yes. Then I had in those days. The middle schools were boarding. Wow. So I went to China Middle Boarding School. Okay. And that's where I completed the middle school living certificate. Okay. In 1968. Wow. Wow. So that's in Upper East yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I decided when I completed, yeah. I said, you know, at our place, yeah. I, I could not farm and oh, yeah, I decided yeah. to come to Kumasi. Oh, okay. I and see. My mother didn't like it at oh. all because of my. <laughs> My it's age, uh, your smallish was, nature was, and all of that, and okay, but still, you decided that this come. is where you wanted to go, and yes. you went to Kumasi. Yes. What were you doing there? I had an uncle who was working at Kumasi Brewery, okay, KBL. I see he tried to get an, a, a job for me, in yeah. KBL, but because I was too small, yeah, <laughs> he didn't want to even uh, uh, employ me. Oh, so there was another uncle. Uh -huh. Who is the caddy master? You know a caddy master. Hey. The one who, when they are playing golf, you know the, all the boys uh -huh. who were carrying those, those their, uh, their uh, stuff. Uh, <laughs> so when somebody comes, he will locate one child ah. to you. Any, any I Baruta, see. He will locate ah. and carry this person. Yeah. Oh, so that's so what you were doing. The caddy master. The caddy master. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's the, our master. So you are a caddy boy. Okay, caddy boy. <laughs> yes. I see. So, I came down yeah. to Kumasi, right. and I knew I was small, mm. but I didn't want to truncate my education. Education. I wow. wanted to continue, continue, but the opportunities was are not, not in there. the north. Exactly. Mm. Are not in the north. Oh. Opportunities are not in the north. Wow. Until recently. Recently. It is opened up. Days, mm. days, I mean, it was only one or two secondary schools. Wow. So I see. Mm. So I came to Kumasi. Kumasi, yeah. And I was allocated a white man yeah. called Alex Tilly. Okay. So. And that white man, yeah. he saw, I don't know, maybe he saw some potentials in me. I see. And he would say, ah, mm -hmm. but you, you can speak English, why are you here? Ah. You speak well than all the Ashanti <laughs> boys. Yeah, I see. <laughs> so one day, he just took me to the first class commercial school, at then wow. called Adebi Commercial School. He wow. himself was a tutor at, at Akrapoli. Oh, okay, Akrapoli. Yes. Wow. But uh, 
Adibi was better than Accra Poly at the time. Wow. I'm telling you, it's a private school. I see. Yes. So he took me there I and see. paid my fees. Wow. You see how white men are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, and that's so you did uh, commercial, uh, is it accounting? Or yeah, what? I did, uh, I did commercial subject. You know, it's a commercial school. Yes. So I did accounting, commerce. Uh huh. Um, Mathematics. My, and all the other subjects. I see, I see, uh, I see. And then after that, uh, did, where did you work? Hmm. <laughs> in, uh, it took me there in 1970. It's a four year course. Okay. In 1973, mm -hmm. because I was working hard, right. I was learning. Right. So in those days, the, uh, the examination body for commercial schools were okay. Royal Society of Arts. Arts. We call it RSC. RSC. Uh -huh. okay. RSC stage one, stage two, stage okay, three. Okay, I've heard that. Uh -huh. I see. But I jumped stage one oh. and went for the stage two. Why? I was. I think this one was a, a waste of time. I see because I could pass <laughs> better than stage. I so see I don't to, to spend money on. I it. see. So I went to stage, stage two. two. Okay. I went. I wrote the exams and I, I got all the subjects at once. Wow. And the first sitting. Wow. Congratulations. So, <laughs> the school yeah. we were nine students yeah. who passed everything. I see. Out of the whole lot. Right. 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 So the school decided to use us. Yes. The first time yeah. to start the advanced course, okay. the RSA is the three, mm. and that we had three subjects. Wow, awesome, yeah. awesome! And then, uh, so so that was commercial school. Yeah. So you didn't go to our kind of secondary no, school. No, 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 yeah. I didn't go. I see. And, and in those days, yeah. it was only Cape Coast University mm. that would admit RSA, stu oh. RSA students. I see. But when I completed, you no, know, my mother too was aging. I see. So. I decided to work. I see. Because if I will help my mother. Right, right. And then when, I mean, I should help her. Right. Because there is an adage saying mm -hmm. that they will, they will take care, take of, care you of you for your you to, to, to grow your teeth. teeth. <laughs> but you have to take, take care of, of them for the teeth to, to grow. grow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, mm. I decided to work. So mm. when I finished um, the the RSA is three in September. Mm. That same month. It is not like now yeah. when you finish, you can't get a job. Yeah. The job was not. A, I see. Yes, it wasn't difficult. The once you have the qualification. Mm. So from, in fact, when I finished in 1975, yeah. I got a job with a sawmill okay. in Kumasi called Lux and Lumber Limited LLL. Yeah. As I an see. accountant officer. I see. Uh, interesting. Interesting. So how did you transition to Accra? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was in the golf club. But, but all this while I was still at the golf club. Right. Because the golf is played in the evening. Evening, so you could and easily go weekends. and help. Mm. And so I went, I, I was in the Locks and Lumber right. company. Right. The, the guy to the managing director to. I see. Was a golfer. Aha. Uh -huh. And so he knew me at the golf club. Oh, good. So he said, he was sponsored me to be a professional. Oh, really? So I played professional golf. You did? Yes, for from 75 to 84. Wow. Yes. That long? Yes. I played in almost all the West Africa countries. You've never I've never heard you say this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my last my last competition was at Togo. Wow. Togo Togo Open. Wow. And the golf club is at Agua, if you have heard that place. I see. Yes. We went to Sierra Leone, we went to Gambia, we went wow. to Nigeria. I was playing almost everywhere. Really? Mm -hmm. For the national yeah. team? Or kind no, of a professional player, make money for yourself. Ah, like the so professional footballers. I see. So yes. it's not like any team no, no, or no, no, this one is. Team. Wow. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm excited to know that. And, uh, and so then, so, so how did you find that? that mm -hmm. uh, I, hmm. was, I was made the golf club manager. Manager, okay. And then when I went to Togo Open, right, a colleague of mine yeah. he didn't get sponsorship to go. To go, but because I was at the the the, the manager of the bar, right, or the golf club, yeah, the colleague brother, okay, a professional. When I left, he was giving a whole lot of lies about me. Oh, that I used the club money to go there. Oh, so when I came, they had to interdict me to audit. Wow, and after the audit, it wasn't true. Wow, but when they interdicted me, yeah. It, you see, God works in a in mysterious, mysterious way. ways. We, we do when understand. They predicted me. Yeah. Then the Church of Christ mm -hmm. members mm -hmm. at Asafo in Kumasi. Right. They had a crusade. They were going house to house preaching. Preaching, yeah. And then I uh, felt. I mean, I, I just you I met just, them. I met them. 
and and then when they preach to you, mm. preaching, I said, ah, but me, I'm not so. <laughs> but I was a very, I mean, strong Catholic. I see, I see. What, that what broke the camera for me to yeah, leave? Yeah, yeah. A small boy, yeah. to be very honest, yeah. he was smaller than me. Right. Very young boy. Uh -huh. He took me away, said like this. Uh -huh. Then he gave me a Bible. Wow. Open here. You know, in Catholic, we don't read Bibles. So <laughs> open here. Open here. Yeah. Then I saw that ah, baptism is a mention and not sprinkling. I see. See, and then I'm lost. You say, I, I did, I, it's not me who say, you say oh, oh, okay. You are not saved. I see. You are not saved. I see. So he so taught you the scriptures. So the following Sunday, mm -hmm. I had to go to Asafo. And that's when you got baptized. Wow. Then when we started the new convent mm -hmm. class, mm -hmm. I realized that to be in the golf club, yeah. you can never get salvation. Ah. It's too corrupt. Why? Oh, <laughs> immorality. I it's see. At the peak. I see. It is not. It is ah, not. It had a lot of ethical oh, issues yes, and ethical concerns concern. for you. I, I, I see. You can I just, see. I can just walk I with see. you. I you see. Know, you see the golf club, you walked in two and die. Ah. And it's a uh, distance. So I'm going to walk ah. with you. I come just in there. When we finish, I buy people. I see. I take you to oh. the hotel. So people are mm. uh, uh, just abusing uh, 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 that. Yeah, I see. And I, I, I had that. I had that. Uh, it happened to me. I must be honest. I see. When my wife got pregnant uh -huh. with a uh, magnet. Yeah. I, I, I snowed and I took my girlfriend to take ready open. Like seriously? Yes. That is the life. It's not a. a wow. Bad. Yes. I see. He I told see. me that they needed towels. I said, hey, uh, we'll give, oh, wow, well, yeah. Ah! I, I took my girlfriend to Takrade. Really? A Air Force plane. Wow. Yes, I left him there. You see, such so, life. Yeah. Can such so, life take you to? Mm, it can just give you salvation. So it was really a very so loose kind of God life. Yes. Yeah, yes. But, God but God, you know, intervened. Yes. And then you met, yes. you know, Christians yes, who yes. taught you the Bible. Yes. And you got baptized. Mm. And you started fellowshiping at that Safu church. Yes. I see. So when the, when the, the audit, yeah, a team finished. Finished. Finish. They said I should come back. I said I wouldn't come back to that corrupt. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. So. That's oh. Why I go back to God. They exonerated you, but yes. you said no. You would. You would not go back. I go back. I see. And yes. so, what next? Where did you finally decide to? So. Yeah. I was with uh, Asafu Church. Right. Then my brother, my senior brother, right. he's a Muslim. Right. He said I should come to Accra. Mm. He will get me a job. In fact, he has got a job. Wow. Not that he will get wow. me a job. So when I came, not knowing it was a deceit. Oh. He wanted me to be a Muslim. So when I came the following day, he gave me a Muslim scholar. Oh. I'm telling you. Seriously. A Muslim scholar. To teach you? Yes. And when he came, I was a convert like you are talking about. <gasps> he would come and use the whole, the Old Testament. Oh. And I was almost believing in because he gave a certain quote, uh -huh. Jesus Christ uh -huh. took two or two or, uh, two apostles uh -huh. and they went. Uh -huh. He left them there yeah. and went uh, forward uh -huh. and they fell down on his face. Oh. So you Christians, you fall down your face. Your master himself fell down on his face. Really? So you see, they are rather. I see. Are rather, so that's what he was telling yes, you, yes. trying to convert to you convert to, me, to yes. Islam. Yes. I see. By any time he gave the quotation, mm. I will say, I will mm. write them. Okay, then you will read them. more then I'll go and find out so from others. I'll go back to. Asafo. I saw to ask uh, Peter Donko. He I was my minister. Oh, he was a minister at that yes. time. Oh, I'll go to my dinner oh, church. I and see. And then, uh, then they'll be teaching me. I see. So the more the follow man when he I refute all the friends. I see. so angry. <laughs> so that's why I didn't get, I didn't become a Muslim. Really? Yes. Hmm. When I narrated this, the, what was happening yeah. to me, yeah. uh, to my dinner church. Right. Right. So they they gave me Frank Frank Lajmandia. Oh, uh, my bishop. Me, yes. <laughs> so Frank Lajmandia was like Tim, uh, Paul. Uh, Paul to you. Yes. Oh, that's the the relationship. Yes. yes. From that time. That time. Yes. Wow. Mm. I see. I see. So then Medina Church, and then how did you come to Legon Church, where we um, came to meet you? <laughs> yeah, for break. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but we would hear that. Uh, but let's take a quick break. I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm delving into the life of my spiritual father uh, when I was just baptized and then I, I came to the University of Ghana. This was the man who led me through all, you know, the thick and thin for me to be able to know much about Christianity and to uh, also do a lot of great exploits in there. Uh, Legon Church and outside and so we'll take a quick break we'll be back to continue
Are you interested in building yourself in the media sector? Do you want to be a journalist, a videographer, a photographer, or any media personnel? Then Heritage Media Center is the right place to be. Ashon Michaelina is my name, a student of the Heritage Media Center. Heritage Media Center is just not centered on theory, but mostly our practicals. I am a student studying both journalism and multimedia. Someone would ask, can I study both journalism and multimedia? Yes, you can. And it also comes with a discount. Studying at Heritage Media Center gives you the opportunity to have access to all learning materials. Here at Heritage Media Center, we have the best lectures. Their main aim is to make sure we get the best of understanding. Come to Heritage Media Center and have that quality education. Hope. Hope for the community. Hope for Ghana, our beloved country. Hope for Africa and hope for the world. With four years of training through seating for lectures and getting the grades, you will develop competence and big hearts to save lives. Our BSc nursing program is uniquely designed with conviction, character, compassion, creativity, and community with a keen focus on information technology and entrepreneurship to equip you bring hope to clients. We are Heritage Christian College. Our nursing program is accredited by Ghana Tertiary Education Commission and Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana. We are recruiting now. Heritage Christian College, a university educating compassionate entrepreneurial leaders. All right, thank you so much for staying with us. We are still talking about um, uh, the life of our evangelist, George Kinsley Abuga. Uh, he was a former minister at the Church of Christ at Legon. And so, also, for you were also talking about uh, how you moved from uh, Kumasi to Medina, yeah. and then now, how did you move from Medina to the Legon Church? I came to hmm. Medina in 1984. Okay. And what I've told you about I see. the Muslim scholar. Right, right. So, Frank Lajimandria hmm. and uh, the leader then is called E.A. Tevia. Okay. They took them, in fact, they really, when I told them my hmm. story, that was a new convert. Uh -huh, and then uh -huh, said, uh -huh. So, they, they really took particular took me. interest yes, in you. Particular yeah. interest, and they were discipling me. Wow. Especially Frank. Wow. Not only in scripture, not only uh, the spiritual yeah. aspect, the physical, physical aspect. aspect. Wow. So he had to hire, Frank had to hire a room for me to leave the Muslim house, my brother's Muslim house. Wow. It is Frank who hired me, uh, he hired a house. Really? For me. I see. To, to take me out of the Muslim place. I see. So that I don't I fall. I see. It is Frank. Wow. Yes. So he was not only for the Just, spiritual. Yeah. Life. He, I see. Interesting. Then, but then I asked, what about the work? Uh-huh. That was yeah. Uh -huh. Then there was an advert. Okay, f asking for account accounts class. I see. So I applied At where? University of Ghana. Whoa. So I applied, and I went to the interview. Uh -huh. Fortunately for me, mm -hmm. those the interviewees, those yes. people yeah. who were interviewing, yeah. Yeah. one the of them, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. that one of them was somebody I was playing golf with. He's the accountant called Mr. Lamte. Wow. So when he saw me, say, "Ah, oh, you are here," and I said, "Yes." <laughs> When they ask me a question, this man will answer. Can you imagine? If they ask me a question, this man will answer for me. And then the panelists will say, ah, uh, you know what we are interviewing on? This guy, he's my professional player and he's going to the golf club. I see. So that's how I got the job. I see. So you see how good Yeah, goes. I see. The so networking also helped, you know. I and see. And then when they pick me straight to the accounts department. Wow. Straight working under that same guy. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Yes. I see. And you worked so, so that I was the main accounts I, department. Yes. Okay. So that's why I went and then later in the mm. in the in the church at Medina. Wow. The almost everybody took interest, especially because they knew why I came to Accra. Okay. So 
they took interest in me. I see. And were, in fact, they were, everybody was concentrated on me. Wow. So at <laughs> you were spe yes. a special project for yes. them. <laughs> at a stage, they will give me some lessons. Yeah. Go and study. And and come and teach. And teach. New, okay. con new converts. converts. Awesome. And then they will be monitoring me. Awesome. Almost all the leaders. Wow. So that's, and then I with, see. with the short time. You were picked up. And I picked up, and wow. then they made me uh, the finance oh. uh, committee, the committee leader. leader. At the Medina church. church. Yes. Oh. So I was the, 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 the finance committee I, see. I was keeping the money. I see. And I you see. let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. When we get the giving. Right. For me to take it to the bank. Right. Then let's see tomorrow morning. Yeah. Before I go to the bank, right. Orad will come. Mm. I'm broke. Uh, oh. And I don't have money. So I give you the <laughs> money. <laughs> Because yeah, brother, I don't know what you why should I take the money to the bank when you are in, in trouble? You are too generous. <laughs> so the people, the and the leaders saw that we are too benevolent. Oh no. <laughs> so they took it from me and gave it to somebody else. When that guy got the money, he went and gave it to his wife. Oh no. To and then he took a cup from frying pan to fire. Uh, but then when I give it to you, when they pay me, I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't get it. <laughs> so this is that, 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 that funny story. That, story that happened to me. Interesting. And, but you see, because I was, yeah. I was brought up by that tradition, yeah. I don't want to see somebody suffering. I it's see. That, that yeah. I can't yeah. stand yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If I see you in mm. need, even if I have my last person, I will. I will <laughs> so you it. have done it for all of us. <laughs> we, we know. <laughs> we know we are all living so, testimonies. <laughs> so I see. one day right. we were there. Yeah. 1999, mm. 2000. Right. Then the students at the University of Ghana, of Ghana. Mm. they had faced a lot of problems um, so with uh, where to worship. Worship, okay. So mm. the 1999, 2000. Right. William Atulik. Uh -huh. Eric Dakon. Yes. Charles Obin Dakon. Wow. Akuya Japama. Uh huh. All these people, they were the group. I see. Then they came to Lego. Uh -huh. I mean to Medina. Right. That they want us to help them evangelize. Okay. Around the establish. area. Establish. Mm. Because they had already secured one small classroom. Right. At the staff village, uh -huh. and they want to make it a community a church. Church, okay. So they mm. came to us, and then <coughs> we you took one yes, week, exactly, Monday to Friday, Friday to have uh, public, public preaching. No, to go house Personal, to house. Okay, work. And yeah. then on Saturday, right, we had a public preaching. Awesome. Then on Sunday, we inaugurated or we started wow. the church. And then, Medina Church said, "We people who were living at the staff yes. village." I was at Star Village mm, B32. Okay. B36. Right. So we who live at the Star Village and people who live around. Right. This is a Christie, yeah, Amar and all the rest. Yes. Amma, you know, li yes, he lives at the exactly. We should join the students to start. To that. start. That's how and I, the, the Legon Church the started. The Legon Church came. Mm. And when I came, they made me the education leader. Education leader. Wow. So, so that's how. I see. And we started the. The, the congregation, the, the, the community. community. Yeah, there was already a student yes, church, but yes. they all came yes, now. Yes. Interesting. Then that was around 2000. 1999 2000. 2000 okay and we came to join 2004 yes wow i see i see and so then later on you went through school preaching school to get <laughs> you see to be to for the university to recognize any church on campus you have to comply with their conditions their, yeah and one of their conditions is that must there have. must be a chaplain mm. and there must be if you don't have a chaplain mm -hmm. you don't use chaplain then you have to get a president uh -huh. and those people will be the uh, uh, chaplaincy board, yeah, board okay because it is they who decide which they will yeah, get the exactly. place for you right you, they don't want illegal yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind and of when mm -hmm. a student is sick or right. have something right uh, yeah it is the chaplaincy that, that would university will oh, okay or the chaplain yeah of that, that will contact mm -hmm. uh -huh. or they, they will first go to the mm -hmm. chaplaincy board mm -hmm. and find the student if you are methodist yeah then they, they will get the methodist chaplain, chaplain yes uh -huh. if you are presby if mm -hmm. you are church of christ mm -hmm. then that's a, right then you will the disciplinary and everything. Uh -huh. If they will sack you, you right. will have to go. I see. You will have to go and defend. Wow. Yes. I see. That's I how see. the chaplaincy mm. board works. And if you want land mm -hmm. and all of that things, the work, chaplaincy yeah, board that will now do the recommendation and yeah. locate you. Mm. So Eric Dako, yeah. who was the president at the at time, that time for two years, yeah. he was the. Uh, mm. But you see, the Church of Christ, mm -hmm. we have another thing. Mm. 
you, we, we don't participate in, mm. in the, what Just you call non yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. thing because exactly. like, so right. Eric Dako was virtually okay okay virtually dormant okay okay <laughs> because okay. those things you see I you, see uh, okay so when I was a uh, mid mid the, the president okay at the from time, okay president, now president in 2002 okay to come to the, so now I was, comply with mm -hmm. uh, so I was uh, I, I had to join the all right but I had a big a problem mm. because university uh, uh, churches of Christ mm -hmm. will not recognize mm. titles like president. Like president, yeah. Mm. So you so you, you, have, you to have to change yeah. you from president yeah. to a minister, a minister or a preacher or, or preacher. Or preacher. Okay. So and before <laughs> you become a minister, <laughs> right. preacher, you have to go to a it's church a of Christ Bible, Bible school. school. Okay. So I, I see. So to, you had to oh to so I applied to come to him. Interesting. I see. And. Uh, you took president. I see, Doctor Chumesi. Okay, he is very. He was very helpful. I see. Very, very helpful. I see. A I see. Honor. He was very, very helpful. Right. Had it me, I wouldn't have been what I am. I see. Yeah, had it been him? Yeah, I yeah. Had it not been him? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Interesting. So, when I applied, they said, oh, but you are already leading a church. Mm. So you don't need to go yeah, to this, all this. preaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Go straight to the master's. I see. You already I see. know the Bible. I see. So I he see. admitted me into the I master's see. program. I see. I see. Yeah. Interesting. So that's how that's you how were able to yes. get yourself trained yes. and all of that. Yeah. And and then, um, so now let's talk about Legon Church itself. Mm. <laughs> that is the, 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 the crown, you know, to me that I came to meet you uh, in your life story and so you 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 had a concept called the Jerusalem uh, church concept or model for for a church New Testament uh, a church um, tell us a bit about it and especially connected to this how you grew up <laughs> because it looks when like was, that's exactly what when was, we saw at the church when I was elected the president right in 2002 yeah I went in one of our business committee meetings, mm -hmm. I told them that I grew up in the north, mm -hmm. and uh, everything <laughs> was coming <Communal>. out. <laughs> and then I learned from the Bible right. that Jesus Christ says everything is common. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter two says, mm -hmm. and they had everything, everything in, in common. common. Yeah. So I want them that to. I mean, I'm going to. I want to use yes, that this, kind of this model principle. exactly. Yes, <laughs> and again. You know when students leave, when the students get admission, yes. they come with so many problems and issues. And then, you know because I was a worker, too, uh -huh. you and later see, you go to uh -huh. a Kwafu hall as yes, well. Yes, you go mm -hmm. to when when you when they rope you. You see, you come and put your things at the protest <laughs> lodge. You don't even know where to go. Oh. And our members, you <laughs> know, I said no. <laughs> you I must do something. Use, I have to Ex use this exactly uh, this communal system. I see. Mm. So. They agreed. Mm -hmm. My leaders agreed. Right. That I can I can take it up because I that see. is how I grew up. I see. So I started teaching. I see. And I started helping. Yeah. Uh, all the students who were any uh, student who will come and don't have accommodation. There is a way. There's a way for you. And I took, I and I took <laughs> over when the university had had instituted a policy called in out out, out, out in. in. Yes. That so was our time. When you come, uh, <laughs> all the continuous students. Yes. It was it was frustrating. Yes, but, but you were able to yes. help. You know, you yes. know, a way because that I knew everybody can help I knew each a lot other. Of people would have just good with yes, a lot of people. Exactly. So in the hall I go, exactly. I, say I, back, I get. Yes, yes. So you were able to help a help lot of us. Yes. You know, to get somewhere so to sleep and go is, through the program. I see. This is how I. I, yeah. I, I, I told I mm -hmm. told the leader that mm -hmm. if this thing can can work yes. with animals. Yes. <laughs> Why not human beings? Why not human beings? <laughs> I love well, that. I, I, I was made a, a, when I grew up yeah. small. I yeah. was asked to take the sheep for grazing. Mm -hmm. You know the sheep, you don't go deep in the forest. I see. You just around the around house. the house. And they, they will warn you. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a warning mm -hmm. that if you make one sheep lost, you won't come to the house. Oh. It, they will give you the warning before you wow. take them out. Wow. And if you allow the sheep to go and graze on somebody's farm, it's trouble. It's trouble. <laughs> I and see. I did that. Perfectly. In fact, I see. I did that. No, so that's no, how okay. you also saw so, uh -huh. human beings so when protecting I came, human uh -huh. beings. So when I came and I said that I'm the minister <laughs> yes. for all these people. Hey, you have Why to make sure nobody let, should uh, get uh, lost. A uh, 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 brother to lose. No, 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 Exactly. Uh, you, and you, you were so, that. so, 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 yes. so, you know, yes, careful so, about that. And uh -huh. I can testify to it. Yes. You know, he will always call you, ask you, you know, about how you're doing, visit you and all of that. And for all her 
provisions and all of yeah. those things on campus, you make sure that you don't lack. So I try Somebody to. who has should also yes. make sure that he yes. provides for those. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. Yeah. like me. Yeah. Because yeah. I help. Yeah. Because you know I was the union secretary yeah. too. And yeah. I was on the promotion appointment and promotion, promotion committee, committee of the university. Yeah. I was in the housing committee. Yeah. So I help a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. So when yeah. it is maintained too, you also have to Exactly. Help so, so there was but one I, thing that you uh, did which I really liked so much. You had to see some of us again, who were doing again, well. If you mm -hmm. remember, yes, you yourself. You came. That's what I was about to say. Again, you yourself. <laughs> when I, when I, in fact, I always want to know exactly. yourself. When I see that exactly. you are not you're, good you're exactly. in one subject, right? I go exactly. and get somebody, somebody who is good, who is good, 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 good to teach you, and, and I will contract you teaching. Exactly. Yes. And and I had to do that. Even I even in linguistics, yes, English, yes, 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 yes,
all this your long my life, life, life is, my life is as for my life <laughs> is always always on what God says that yes. I want to do right 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 I always right. tell people that what God says mm -hmm. try to do it I'm not saying you 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 are perfect but right, right. try your best to right, do it right so my life is always mm -hmm. what God says I should do I what see. I will do that always is, even that's inspiring now. yes that's inspiring wow let's talk about the book that you have uh, just written your autobiography. I, I was bringing uh, oh, I was, a copy. Oh, bring a book. <laughs> I see. You, but I left it in the car. I see. I see. You see mm. What is motivating me to write right. the book? Yeah. That at school. Yes. I went to Acrofi Christian as well. Yeah. And uh, mm. it is for all, not not only for churches. Right. Of right. I met some Methodist. Mm -hmm. I mean ministers. Ministers. Yeah. They gave me a book. Okay. And when I read it, all about the Presbyterian Church. I see. So I said, ah, mm. then why can't you, even mm. if I can't say Church of Christ, right. I can write something, something about, about the Church of the Christ, Christ Legon. Legon, yeah. And that where is you what spent so much of your yes. life. That's Interesting. What, so that it becomes something, a memoir that we can all come and read. They will also come and read yes. and they will know how A lot of these is. stories, if you yes. don't, you yes. know, yes. read it. So yeah. yeah, I see. So that was, yeah. that's, that's the main what, motivation. Yeah, that's the main motivation. Yeah, to catalog the things that happened. How Legon, how Legon Church started. Start. You know, it started with Eski Ayim. Ayim, yeah. <laughs> the it council chairman of heritage. Yeah. Yes, it started with Eski Ayim. Yeah, in 85 there about. He wrote mm. notices and yes. put it on the notice yeah, he board. Said it before. Inviting people, people to his to room, come. Right. room in uh, Sabah Hall. Wow. And that's how they started. I see. They didn't know themselves. I see. And there was nothing called, there was right. nothing called Church right. of Christ right. on campus. On campus, And he yeah. said, ah. Mm. He just yeah, yeah, said, okay, yeah, why yeah. not change so, the yeah. so he started uh, awesome. and he started like that in awesome. his room. Awesome. Before uh, Dr. Augustine Tibia Tibia and and joined, joined. Uh, yeah. uh, what do you call yeah. it? Uh, yeah. Professor Etria. Etria as well. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. So wow. People don't know, but wow. once this thing is documented, right. young young students people come can and also and they get to know. Awesome. It's good, it's good to, mm. for ministers mm. to catalog some of these things yes. so that we can yeah. have some and in, institutional and, and in the book, repository. I am, I am mm. appealing to right. young ministers like you yeah. to adopt the same, concept. the same concept. The Jerusalem concept yes. of or communal kind of concept. helping. If you don't want to use the, the Jerusalem, the family, uh, yeah. the spiritual family, family concept. concept, where everybody where, cares yes, about yes, everybody, everybody, and yes. we share things, yes. and, and that, yes. everybody is not lacking. We are mm. all trying yes. to support each other. For example, you are here, uh, yeah. also somewhere. Exactly. So if if you something, want something, exactly, you, you should can be help. To, exactly. That's why God put you here. Right, right. And that's why God yeah. put somebody else in, in another hospital. place. Mm. That's why God put somebody else in university. Awesome, yes. awesome. This is great. Uh, this is great. So this is what came yeah. to my mind. Awesome. And uh, the book of the, I had it in Kaba. Oh, I you left it. <laughs> from a, right. a book concerning the, the Presbyterian Church. Right, right. And so I decided to write to that one. Awesome. For the, the, at least, if I can write for the church. Of course, and the, the one that you ministered like, in, yes. that, that's great. Mm. Can you acknowledge a few brethren or people in your life that have been, you've mentioned a lot of names, but maybe no, just no, to say. Number one, yes. <laughs> I've already mentioned Frank Ajiman. And of I, course. I've mentioned Chumasi. Wow. Uh, <laughs> my, <then>? my father's <laughs> as well. <laughs> Then when you come to Lego, they got itself. People like <laughs> Brosse. Uh, people like Edward Nyaku. Oh my goodness. In fact, I will yeah. never forget of that. Even yeah. Daniel Abebiu. Abebiu. Yeah. My media when, board yes, <laughs> member. When, uh, when, uh, when they embraced the Jerusalem concert, right. he he went and hired a room wow. for 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 people who are stranded. Wow. And they wow. still the room is that he's wow. paying for it. Wow. So if you don't have accommodation, exactly. yes, you go and wow. live there till you get your own accommodation. Wow. I'm so uh, happy. So <laughs> yeah. people like that, they yeah. help the concept to, to, uh, to, to, materialize. to materialize. Exactly. Yes. So that yes. uh, people would benefit. I'm yes. so excited. Mm -hmm. You know, these are just a few. And in the book, and you the, see so like, many names that he's like mentioned. <laughs> people like Conrad when he came. Oh, he was very, in fact, I even I even tipped him to be to be my successor. Hey! That heritage to keep. From oh my me. goodness! <laughs> yeah. You know, but, but hey. you remember that even even scriptures when I didn't understand, I came to you. Hey! But you, didn't, you you forgot. 
<laughs> you forgot. How can I teach my father? <laughs> when I was talking I about, when I was talking about, we we're talking about, is it Easter? Yes, I think so. Easter. <laughs> and it was you who brought oh, me the material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so happy. But it's also your seventieth birth day on that will be on twentieth yes. of March. Yes. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. And I pray that God should continue to bless you and, and lead you, guide you, Amen. give you more life. Amen. Yes, so that you can be a blessing to many more. Because you've blessed all of us who have come through you. And we've, we've, God has really, really, you know, shown us the way through what you have done for us at Legon Church Thank and you. we are blessed and if we are doing marvelous things it's because we had mentors like you to help us to give us the idea and the heart for ministry and to love people as well and uh, we are so grateful for your life. God but, bless but, you. But, you know, <laughs> yes, daddy. Sometimes you people say things which I don't even know when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you may so, not know oh, everything know exactly. That. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yes. but that's 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 true. But I anyway, it. that is me. When yeah. I do something, yeah, you I just forget, forget about it. it. Exactly. Yes, I try to exactly go forward. That's it. Me. That's yeah. it. Thank you very much. God mm. bless you and for God coming. You too. It's God a pleasure. You. God bless you. Yeah. So this is you know uh, a former uh, beza at Equafo Hall, University of Ghana, and then also a former minister of the Church of Christ at Lagos and he is in the person of evangelist George Kinsley Abuga and he has been my spiritual father you know for 20 years now <laughs> since I went to the University of Ghana and then went to the Church of Christ at Legon and he's really been inspirational to all of us and may God continue to bless him and then also for you as a young person you must also take some lessons from the life of our minister that you know he has shared today the fact that you can come from the very humble the humblest of backgrounds and you know education may not even be a possibility but once you're hungry for learning for knowledge you can follow others to school just just keep picking and then don't stop learning there will be opportunities that will come your way god will be opening doors for you god will be leading you to people who can help you there will be situations distractions challenges and all of that but in all keep your mind i mean focused on the goal the purpose that you were created to fulfill on this earth and god will surely establish your steps thank you so much for your time it's been a pleasure coming your way again with another edition of the conrado show this show was brought to you in association with the conrado group and then heritage christian university college we'll be back again same time next week with another edition of the show thank you bye-bye